Shiftboard is a popular volunteer management software used by many companies. So make sure you're on the SIF page by visiting shiftboard.com backslash SIF backslash. On this page, you can complete a new registration or sign into an existing account. Let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the website. When I sign in, I'm brought to this page, which is my dashboard. Here I can view my schedule for the week, as well as any news updates. On the left-hand side, I find my navigation ribbon. Here, I can access schedules, I can add and review teams, or I can access the Shipboard support library full of how-to tips and videos. In the upper right corner, I can adjust my account. Here I can review and edit any of my personal information, including my email notification settings, and update my skills and interests. At any time, I can navigate back to my dashboard by clicking the dashboard button. Let's take a look at the Teams tab. Volunteer opportunities are divided into separate teams. New registrations are automatically enrolled in some teams, and you can submit a request to join additional teams. To view the teams that I'm a part of, I look under the Worker tab. To browse teams that I might want to join, I select the Join tab. From here, I can click on a team that interests me to learn more. When I find a team that I like, I can hit the Join button to submit a request to join the group. I may be automatically enrolled, or the request may be sent to the manager for approval. To browse and pick up available shifts, I'll click on the Schedules tab in the Navigation ribbon. Here, I can see all available shifts for a given week. I can also select a custom date range, adjust my view by day or month, and I can further filter my view by team, location, start time, and more. Please note that these filters don't automatically reset, so remember to reset when you're finished. To learn more about an available shift, I can click on the shift card. This will bring up additional details, including a mapped location of the venue and any notes left by the shift manager. When I find a shift that I'm interested in, I'll select the blue Take Shift button and confirm my selection. Notice that the red Open button has been replaced by a green Assigned button. Now when I view the Schedules tab, I can see that the shift has been assigned to me. Now, whenever I sign in and I'm brought to my dashboard, I can see any shifts assigned to me for the week. If I'm unable to work a shift, I can unassign it, which will make it available for other volunteers to claim. But if I need to cancel a shift on short notice, I'll notice that the unassigned button isn't available for same-day cancellations. I'll need to call out. Reviewing this information, it looks like I need to submit a call out reason and I need to call the volunteer manager. I'll submit my call out reason and follow up with a call to the volunteer manager to let them know I won't be able to make my shift. Schedule settings. At the top of the schedules tab, you can toggle on and off the shared view calendar to view unavailable shifts claimed by other volunteers and see who is working them. Please note that each team has their own permission settings for shared view so you might not be able to view shared calendars for all teams. You can also adjust the shift card settings by selecting the gear icon at the top. This will allow you to change the details for a shift that automatically display on the calendar. You can always restore the site default settings by selecting the use default button. Account settings. From the dashboard, I select my account from the top right menu next to my profile. On the profile page, I select the blue edit icon on the right hand side. Once inside the profile settings, I can subscribe to the My Schedule calendar, which will automatically add my confirmed shifts to my preferred calendar service. I'll select GCal and confirm my selection on the calendar app. In the profile settings, I can adjust my email notification settings to my preference, such as turning off shift reminders and confirmation emails. Lastly, I'll select Save to confirm any changes to my settings. Thank <laughs> you.